Oh man, <laughs> look at how beautiful this is. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I gotta pull over. I gotta get a penalty, probably, but that's okay. What's going on, guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604, and welcome to Aceto Corsa. And for the first time, Pacific Coast Highway. This one is a free roam. It's by Phoenix77, who you probably know through his incredible LA Canyons mod. I think I've probably put more time into that track than any other track in Aceto Corsa. A phenomenal, huge open world just cruising around uh, the Southern California region. Uh, this time we're moving to the coast though, Pacific Coast Highway. This is a real highway and uh, we're going to take this Lamborghini out there. I've got two-way traffic enabled. It's going to be a blast. Uh, I haven't actually explored that much. I've spent I guess about two hours so far but I've never made it to the end so uh, yeah this should be a cool one. Go ahead and get into it. And yes, my mouse is in the most awkward position possible right now. So as I say, I've got two-way traffic enabled. And so what Phoenix has been able to do with this, because it's a smaller it's a smaller footprint than LA Canyons, so he's been able to, well, he and uh, Ben Obro, who you know from his own fantastic work for Aceto Corsa, uh, they've been able to create this Pacific Coast Highway with a lot more detail than they were able to for LA Canyons. So uh, really cool to see, really cool to see. Let's Let's explore some more. And Phoenix mentioned in his email uh, that the road is actually crowned. So the center line there is the highest point of the road. So it's uh, slightly banked, assuming you're uh, making a uh, right-hand turn, I would say. And as you'll probably see, it's a lot more, uh, it's a lot faster than LA Canyons. One of my very few complaints about LA Canyons was that there wasn't a lot of space to sort of open up our favorite uh, uh, supercars and hypercars, but you can actually do that here at LA Canyons. Oh, ex excuse me, at uh, Pacific Coast Highway. There's a number of like pullouts here too as well. There's uh, like lookout points and a few roads that go up the hill and I haven't had time to explore those, but uh, pretty amazing, pretty amazing. And this will be coming very, very soon to everyone. I assume the pay structure will be the same as Phoenix has done for his uh, LA Canyons mod, meaning there will be a free version on the race department and uh, a paid version, which opens up a few different options for you as far as how you drive it. Like probably the two-way traffic version uh, will be a paid version. But uh, yeah, like I said, with the LA Canyons, it's, it's worth it 100%. But I haven't actually confirmed that uh, pay structure, so don't quote me. Yeah, this is phenomenal, phenomenal. What a great job, Phoenix and Ben Obro, and I'm sure others have done. And you can see uh, they're not 
Kunos level, but you can see there's more detail on the roadside cars here. They look more like cars you might actually see on the road. And that definitely helps with immersion. But absolutely gorgeous scenery. Wow. It's really incredible what they've been able to achieve. And I say it's smaller than LA Canyons, though not small. I mean, I've been driving for how long now? Five and a half minutes, give or take. And uh, I don't think I'm anywhere near the end. And I do believe there's something that shouts out Sim Racing 604 in here. Phoenix has teased it. Not sure what. Probably a roadside outhouse somewhere. No, I'm kidding. He's a good dude. And yeah, let's let's pull over here, have a little view. So you can see the gorgeous, gorgeous scenery here. Uh, it's a bit obstructed by my, oops, I'm gonna get a penalty here, but it was a bit obstructed by my A-pillar, but um, you can see where the ocean meets the land there. Just absolutely beautiful. Like a bunch of cars pulled over for that same viewpoint, give or take. Beautiful. Wow. Wow, that's so nice. By the way, I have been to the actual Pacific Coast Highway and uh, it looks exactly like this. Uh, a lot busier. It takes forever to get anywhere on the Pacific Coast Highway, but it is this gorgeous. It's fantastic. So yeah, this is a perfect example of a of a free roam where you can just pick up your favorite car and go. Like whatever supercars you're into, just take it for a rip around here. So much fun. Oh man, <laughs> look at how beautiful this is. Wow. <laughs> ah, I gotta pull over. I gotta get a penalty probably, but that's okay. I was trying to look sideways. Did you guys see that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. So cool, man. There's the view. Wow. Dude, come on. <laughs> this is so nice. This is so nice.
down here. I, just like I mentioned, we get to open up a bit more here on the Pacific Coast Highway. I'll use this opportunity to say thank you to Phoenix for including me in the test version because <laughs> this is fantastic. This is a great way. It is 5.42 a.m. right now and already I'm in the best mood I'll be in all day. So, so nice. some traffic going our way. You can see the uh, landscape changed quite a bit here. Looks like there's some houses off to the right. And we have reached the end of PCH, so yeah, that was 12 minutes give or take. Uh, but you can go the other direction from where I started as well for a few minutes. So um, yeah, there's a ton to explore and enjoy here. What can I say? Thank you, Phoenix, for another amazing, amazing track. And uh, guys, I know you'll be wondering where's the download link. Uh, as soon as I can, I will provide it. Uh, it'll likely be on Race Department, as I say, probably some free aspects, probably some um, paid aspects to PCH, but we'll see. Actually, one more thing I want to show you. Okay, so let's pull over here, right near the ocean, and have a listen. Okay, the uh, alpha probably ruined that, but uh, you can actually hear the seagulls cawing and uh, the ocean waves splashing. So really amazing touches. So uh, Pacific Coast Highway, brilliant, so much fun, and uh, thank you guys for watching.